Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I'm going to share with you 16 free t-shirt patterns. Now five of these t-shirt patterns are probably ones you've heard of before, but I'm willing to bet that at least one or two of the other 11 are new to you. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. I do videos once, sometimes twice a week, all on sewing, knitting, and a little bit of travel. As a matter of fact, today we are in beautiful Mexico and I have my, my earphone in because uh, I'm a little bit worried about all the ambient noise sitting outside here, so I'm hoping that this will provide better sound. If you are a returning visitor, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Make sure that everyone stays until the very end of this video because I'm going to give you the opportunity to vote on which one of these t-shirt patterns I make live on my channel next week. So if you want to see a t-shirt made live and you want to vote on which one, please stay till the end and I'll let you know how to vote. All right, I have my notebook handy with all of the details. Let's get started. T-shirt number one is the Uvita top by Itch to Stitch. Vita, Uvita, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, but it's by Itch to Stitch, and this is a relaxed fit boat neck t-shirt. It also has drop sleeves, which means if you're new to making t-shirts, a drop sleeve one is a good one to start with because you don't have to worry about set-in sleeves, which is uh, you know sometimes a little bit more challenging. It has a long sleeve option and a three-quarter sleeve option, and the sizing goes from double zero all the way up to size 20, so you've got a large size range to deal with. On top of that, they do have a paid add-on. It's $5, and that add-on includes a hood, kangaroo pocket, a bottom band, a flared sleeve, and a few other options. So if you want to head over there, um, you can also try that out. Next is the Stellan Tee by French Navy Patterns. This is a brand new one, only out a week or two. I couldn't even find a ton of pictures of it on Instagram yet, um, but it looks awesome. And so this one comes in sizes double XS to double XL. It's a slightly boxy fit, but still has some shape and it's got kind of a longish sleeve and a crew neck. Very classic style but definitely a set in sleeve so slightly different look. Next is the Sparrow Tee from Common Stitch and this goes in Aussie sizes 6 to 12 which from what I can tell is US 2 to 8. So have a look and see if that those measurements might work for you. It also has set in sleeves, a rounded neckline but quite roomy sleeves as well. There's the simple boat neck top by So So Easy, and that goes from size small to size triple XL. Again, a really nice large um, range of sizes. This is a bat wing top, so it's only two pieces. Again, really great for a beginner, a little more roomy, got a little bit of a more slouchy style, a little bit different than the ones previously. And because of this, the neckline is just folded in. So again, if you're new and you're uncomfortable putting in a neckband, this might be a good option. There's also the ABBT from Do It Yourself Better Club. ABBT stands for anything but basic T. So I thought that was really cute. Um, this is new to me. I'd never seen them before, but I found them on my search. And this goes from size double zero to size 36. Great range of sizes. It comes with different necklines. There's a high crew, a low crew, a scoop neck, different um, sleeve lengths. There's a short sleeve, an elbow sleeve, a three quarter length, a long sleeve. They are set in sleeves, um, but they do have instructional videos also on their site. And so you could probably follow those. They have a men's version as well. So that's a great option for men. Next, we have the Basic Instinct Tee from uh, Sasha from Seconda Piano. And this is a nice classic, very classic T shape. It goes from size extra small to extra large. Also has a crew neck. Um, very classic and clean. Next, we have the Grasser 110. Grasser is a Russian um, pattern company. They have a lot of really, really super cool designs. If you open any of the Grasser pages into Chrome, so usually when you click it of YouTube, it's automatically going to go into Chrome, but if not, open it in Chrome and it will ask you if you want to translate it into English and it will automatically translate from Russian to English. This is fitted. Um, there's also a men's version, I believe, and it's a fitted t-shirt with long set in sleeves leaves and then the mint version is also free that's number 154. So we also have the breezy tee from It's Always Autumn and that only comes in a size large. Um, it's a lovely again a very simple tee a little more flowy breezy shape and it does come with short sleeves and I know that on that blog she does a lot of different hacks using that pattern as a base so if you um, you know like her style you can definitely use it to make other things. For our gents we do have the previous two that I mentioned, the Anything But Basic Tea as well as the Grasser Tea, but we have this one called the Sage Tea, and this is from LB Textiles, which is an, an Aussie company, and those go from extra small to double XL. It's a basic semi-fitted tea with a crew neck and short sleeves. 
What about wovens? For me, I love to make a woven tee in the summer, something in linen or light cotton, maybe a double gauze. So here are a couple options in woven. The drop sleeve top from Avid Seamstress is of course a drop sleeve. It has a very relaxed fit. It ends at the elbow. There's a neck facing and a button at the back. Um, beautiful, beautiful shape to it. Button loop closure. And that goes from UK six to 22, which as far as I can tell is US four to 18. And then from thefabricstore.com, which is if you like to, to, um, to sew with linen, beautiful, beautiful, like all sorts of free patterns on that site. Um, but they have the Monique Simple Linen Tee. It has a boxy high-low hem. It has a back button, again, like the button and loop closure. And the finish is a bias binding. So those are my new to you ones, or at least new to me, I'll say. Um, and here are the five that you probably have heard of before, but let me give them a run through just in case. The Mandy Boat Tea, you guys have seen me make that before. If I can, I'll try and put in a picture. It's from Tasuti. Now that used to be a one size pattern and recently they've added more sizes. So now it goes from a double extra small up to a double XL. So great one if you haven't had a chance or even if you have, go back and download it and get some different sizing. It's a boxy top, it has drop shoulders. It's a staple and it is so, so easy to sew. I highly recommend it. There's the Hemlock Tee from Grainline Studios. It's also a drop sleeve, only comes in one size. It's a roomy medium and something that's really easy to adjust. There's the Plantain by Darren Doe and Susie from Thread Quarters has done a wonderful video on this that I will try to link to below. It goes from sizes 34 to 52, which is in European sizing. And it's fitted at the shoulders and then flares out a bit. And it comes with short, long and three quarter sleeves. So these last two are ones that you can either purchase or get free on Creative Bug. And that's how I discovered them. So that's why I'm including them in the free territory because you can get them free by doing the free two week trial at Creative Bug. So the Wanderlust Tee from Fancy Tiger Crafts goes from extra small all the way to double XL. It's a boxy A-line top, wide neck, cropped longer sleeves. It's $14 on the website, but like I said, it's free on Creative Bug. And actually there are a couple of different Fancy Tiger patterns on there. So I'm gonna link to that below. And then last is t-shirt number one, and I have one of those with me on vacation. Uh, what a great pattern from 100 Acts of Sewing, Sonia Phillip. Again, you can buy it on their website at $17, if I think that's the paper pattern, or you can get it free with a Creative Bub membership. And there's also um, her dress number two, pants number one, and I think tunic number one. I might have the numbers off, but there's at least a dress, a tunic, and a pair of pants as well <laughs> um, that you can get of 100 Acts of Sewing on the Creative Bug website. Okay, that's all the free t-shirt patterns. Did I find some that you haven't seen before? Tell me, tell me if I found some you didn't know. I hope so. You guys are all so good, you probably know a lot of them, but I'm hopeful that at least one or two you haven't heard of. Now, to vote, to vote for which one I make live on my channel next week. I'm gonna narrow it down, because with 16 different options, I have a feeling I may not end up with a clear majority. So I'm gonna narrow it down to three that I'm really interested in making. I'm gonna narrow it down to the Basic Instinct T, the Stellan T, and the Grasser 110T. So those are the three that I'm interested in making. Let me know which one below you'd like to see me make live on the channel next week. Let me know which one you like the best, which one you're gonna head over and go grab. Please give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I so appreciate it. It really does help me and help the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I have more free pattern videos coming. Also, let me know below what kind of free patterns you wanna see. What do you want next? Do you want dresses next? Skirts, should I just do a general free pattern one? Um, whatever you think. All right, guys, that is it for me. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this day in beautiful Mexico and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.